first major hiccup was the news feed. When Facebook introduced the news feed, people were initially outraged. Why? Every bit of content the news feed displayed was already accessible. Should have been fine, right? But the news feed took implicit content and publicized it as explicit content in new ways. So if you were stalking somebody, you would have noticed that they changed their, their status from being in a relationship to being single, and you might have sort of done something about it. But with the news feed, every single one of their friends was politely told that this change had happened. Not surprisingly, people got very upset about this. And publicizing accessible data became a game changer for people. And they got upset because it changed the context. People didn't know how to deal. They didn't know how to opt out. And their loud anger forced Facebook to create tools so that users could choose what was going on and what could be shared and not shared. This is not to say that the newsfeed was not a great success. It undoubtedly was. But it changed people's behaviors, and they thought differently about what content they produced on their, on their profiles. They thought very differently about the kinds of implicit data that might get produced. And interestingly, they learned actually how to manipulate the newsfeed. They learned how to work within the system and produce data for it. And those who joined after 2006 took the newsfeed for granted and developed a set of norms with that as a given. The transition was rocky, but people managed to work it out in that process, in part because not that many people were on Facebook at the time. 